Yo, the frog from that frog chair in Power World? Uh, it's real now. This right here is my favorite thing ever. So yeah, I'd like to introduce you to my new favorite pal. I will have an entire pal box full of them, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. So Pocket Pair just dropped one of the hardest teaser trailers ever and thought nobody would notice. So in this video, they are showcasing some new pals that are going to be coming in the in the summer. Or somebody said June. I know I read that it'll come in June, supposedly. Don't take that for fact. But June is being thrown around. Anyways, we're going to watch this trailer together. And then they showcase the new pals. And there's also some other stuff in the trailer that they're teasing that they're not explicitly saying um anything about so let's do that real quick because th this is this is a really good trailer i enjoyed it a lot new pals are coming and look at this gentleman what an esteemed gentleman And then, of course, this is something. 2024 summer. So, June is being thrown around. We'll see when it gets closer to that. So, there's a couple other things in this video. And then there's one more teaser that they dropped. Was that yesterday, two days ago? I didn't even... I wasn't subscribed. That's That should be a war crime. Like, not subscribing to this one should be. Anyways, in a post that they made, there's one additional teaser that we're going to get to at the end of this. So make sure you stay around. First, there's two additional biomes here. Or, I mean, they could be their own islands or whatever, but there's at least two biomes here. Um, you have this cherry blossom biome. It looks like that's snow in the background. Even back there, that looks like snow. So I'm thinking this could be... I'm thinking this could be up here maybe even right here this seems logical that it might be you know somewhere in this area maybe right here are you just guessing also in the video i think there's we're getting closer to the tree the tree is bigger and the tree is here so yeah it might be you know in this little area right here so there's that this first biome is being teased and then this swamp mushroom area i hope with this this mean these mushrooms i hope this means there's new materials being added okay so we're back in this in that and then this kind of looks underground almost but i mean it obviously doesn't but it looks cavish maybe it's just nighttime um, but there are a lot of tory gates here in this area yeah, so there's there's the snow again, which leads me to think it's probably around here somewhere. But this guy's really cute too. I like this guy a lot. He looks like a doofus. So we have the flamethrower. And I like the contrast. It's just a bunch of little silly looking guys, mushroom head guys, mushroom head relaxosaurus, and then immediately just burning them with a flamethrower. <laughs> so we have the brothers of the eternal fire flamethrower. Looks like we're going to be able to unlock that. And I hope with this, because it's like a machine weapon, that I, I hope there's more materials. Like, maybe we need like rubber or some shit. And then you have the plasma gun from the genetic research people. So we're also going to be able to use that. And maybe in the future, that means we'll be able to, um, when more enemies come out, or if more enemies come out, we'll be able to make their weapons also. There's also something interesting here. Oh my God, what is that? What the hell is this? Is that for the flamethrower maybe? I don't know. It's something though. This is something. I don't know what it is. Is that a, that's like a warning symbol. It could be for the flamethrower. So maybe you have to have this for that or it could be for the plasma rifle here so this could be like the ammunition maybe you have to fill this up with some kind of fluid maybe i don't know it is something to think about 
Also, I didn't see this before, but I'm taking a look back and uh, there's a tower here. So there'll be another tower boss, which is cool. So like each enemy, each uh, faction or whatever, like the syndicate, the alliance, the brothers, P P I D F and whatever, each one of those corresponds with a tower boss. So Zoe is syndicate. Lily is the free pal alliance. The brothers of the eternal pyre is Axel. P I D F is Marcus and the research unit is Victor, right? So I, this must mean we're getting another faction because we've beaten those factions or whatever. And now we can use their weapons. They're going to, well, obviously there's going to be new weapons, but are we going to be able to use those as well? And maybe that is what this thing is? Because it would kind of make sense to an extent. Like we've beaten the other five tower bosses. Now we're getting some of their weapons. Flamethrower, plasma. But like she's using the plasma gun in this clip, but she doesn't have that tank on the back. So what I said earlier about this being like a, maybe it's like ammo ammunition or whatever that's probably just completely wrong unless they just did this for you know they took it off for cinematic effect or whatever and then you know maybe it still could be but either way new tower equals new boss equals new faction because each of the current five tower bosses represent each of the five factions so something interesting that i didn't catch in my original recording yeah here here's the tree it's a lot closer it's off to our, what, northwest? So, it even further points that these new areas are going to be right here. Alright, tell me which one's your favorite. And if you don't say the frog, you're just, you're just wrong. So, I'm sorry. I'm not. But there's something else here. Hold on. This. I saw someone point out that all the statues in the games, the effigies, the Anubis statue, and then all the big statues around the world. There's a Jet Dragon statue, another Anubis statue. There's a Quiverin statue. There's a Frostalian statue, Palladius, and Necromus. Someone pointed out that all of these statues are pals in the game. So maybe this pal, this statue right here is also another teaser for a pal. Maybe. With this final cutscene right here, it makes me think that more building options are coming. That's just what it makes me think. Like, this is a foundation of some sort. These are new light fixtures. This is also the new, a new wooden foundation that's going to come. Wall, door. And then with this, it makes me think they're going to expand the building system a lot in terms of what you can do with, like, roofs and stuff. That's just my fan theory. The theory that I uh, hope is true. Because if we can start doing stuff like this with building, that's just, it's just going to make the game infinitely better. More so than it already is. I mean, it's a fantastic game, but this is just, that's just going to bring all sorts of new creative building stuff to the game, which would be awesome. Um, but I also, part of me just thinks this is maybe where the floating fox is at, maybe. But this part of the trailer makes me also think that it's not. So I don't know. Really, dude? So yeah, that's the trailer that they just dropped yesterday. It looks sick. I'm super excited for it. But there is one more thing that they, they dropped. Let's see if they posted it here. No, they did not. There's also a teaser in this image right here. It's not as clear as the video they just dropped. But if we look down here, we have a pink little guy. We have a pink chillet. Fire chillet. Chillet Ignis. Or as the community likes to call it, that is Grillet right there. This is Grillet, probably. So that was also teased. That could come with that update in the summer, or it could come sooner. Um, it could just be a little surprise, or it could just be nothing and just be like a homage to the the community and the fans, um, because they do talk about it a lot. Too much? Too much. There's a lot of Grillet chatter going on on the Reddit. But yeah, that's all I got for today. I'm still working on some builds. I've also been playing a lot of Poke Rogue. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a roguelike game, fan-made Pokemon game on, on browser. Uh, it's super fun. If you haven't tried it out, if you're a fan of Pokemon, you should try that out. Uh, it's very, very addicting. If you made it this far, please let me know what you think down below. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Okay, make sure to do it. Anyways, if you would like to support the channel, you can give this video a comment and a thumbs up and a subscribe. Uh, I heard that the button is supposed to light up when I say that word, but because I say it wrong, I don't think it does. Um, and I'm not going to change that. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can. If you'd also like to support the channel via membership, there is a link in the description to do that. And if you decide to do that, then thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Anyways, peace. Love your friends.
and the frog is the best pal in the game now. Look at him. Are you looking? Okay, bye.